So when are you leaving? Do you want to tell him? Okay. Okay. One, two, three, go. Uh, exciting, exciting. Come on, we're exciting.
So we'll take one picture with Zevi, okay? Yeah, sure. the grandparents? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, no. The grandparents? I do not put a film in I think the opposite. That's because it's a, the, but usually it's all about them. So in the Ito, there's a lot of different types of Italian. That's Sorry, gentlemen. The standard one is that, a left, uh, that the lefty does everything with his left hand, which that's my case. But there are other cases, for example, so on right to his right hand and he does everything with his left hand or the opposite and so on and so forth, different ways that half of his stuff he does with this hand, that half of his he writes from both hands, there's different types of lefties. The one that we're going to be talking about is that he writes with his right hand, but he does everything else with his left hand. So there's a difference of opinion between the Alter Rebbe and the Tzemach Tzedek. The Alter Rebbe uh, uh, brings a marker from the Magen Avram in the Shulchan Aruch. He says, it says in the Torah, The Magen Avram, which the Alter Rebbe brings, it says there's a hekesh, there's a connection between them. You say, Ukshatam, and then it says right after, Ukshatam, Ukshatam Zubisek. So, that, so the Alter Rebbe learns from here, and also the Magen Avram learns from here, that where do you do Ukshatam? By Ukshatam, which is the hand that you write. But the Senna said it says, uh, then there will be different, uh, the Senna said God defers and says, um, and says, how could that be? It's not going to be the Yad Kea. Whether if he writes on not or not, uh, in his, on his right hand, his Yad Kea is going to be his left hand. So, it's a Machlech. So, Alter Rebbe says, on your, on your, uh, to put on, on your left hand, like every righty, or the Senna said says that he's considered a left hand. There's a story about it that happened. Uh, there was a person. Uh, there was a person named Rav Nelson Gerardi who was a shir from Buffalo. He, when he was a kid, he was uh, such a kid. He would write with his right hand and do everything else with his left hand. So he uh, asked the Rebbe. Uh, so his father took him to the Rebbe, and, and he asked the Rebbe, "Should we train him to write with his with his left hand, left hand, so it shouldn't be a problem in Allah? So the Rebbe answered. It's, it's a good thing to, uh, to give him a chinuch, but by changing and teaching him to do in the, in the opposite, it'll cause a problem in, his, in the way how his brain works, and it's better not to ch have not to change and be in the halakha uh, question. That was a couple years before his bar mitzvah. Then the time came, and he was coming up by mitzvah. So so he asked. So he asked. Uh, they asked uh, again the rebbe, and the rebbe didn't said, "I'm not answering. I'm not asking." Go to the Ziknei Rabboni Anash. So, uh, the Rav Nesim Gavari, uh, the Shlich in Buffalo's father, went to the Rav, Rav Shmuel Avitin. Shmuel Avitin thought a little bit.
and then he, and he says to put it on, on his left hand just like every other right. And don't ask me questions about it. Afterwards, the father asked, uh, uh, the father asked a different Reb, Reb Zama Shimon Dvarkin, and he was the Av Beis of Crown Heights in that time, and he says that that the, that the child should put on his right hand like a left hand, just like the Av Rebbe Holt in Shimon. And he came back to Rebbe and says that the, that there was a difference of opinion that Reb Zama Shimon Dvarkin said the opposite of him. Rebbe Holt said that nevertheless. He should do as I said before, which is just like every uh, uh, writer. There was a different story about that happened to the Rabbi Yisuf Rosenfeld that he used to write with his left hand and everything else he would do with his right hand. When he started to put on Tvon, he did just like the out the outer of the basket and he put it on his right hand, just like a regular left hand. From the, from the limb of the Shartan and the Shartan. When he was around 18 years old, way past Bar Mitzvah, he, he, uh, he heard of some, he, before he didn't know the, uh, of the Tzimel Sev Tzav. Later, he figured out that there's such a thing as the, the Tzimel Sev Tzav that say he should do Abbas. <laughs> so he went to the Rebbe and he said, what should I do? The Rebbe answered, just like in the, question, in the story before, to ask the Zikne Rabbani Yanash. So he asked uh, Reb Zalman Shimon and also Reb Yisrael Jacobson, and also Reb Moshe Duber Rifkin, and to also to a Zayde Reb Yo Simpson, uh, Reb Yo Yechel Simpson. That's a lot of, that's a lot of people. And he got, and each four of the different Rabbanim that he asked, got, he got four different possible. Uh, some said do both on his uh, uh, both hands, some do only this hand, only this hand, do sometimes this, whatever. The four different side, something. And Rev. Rev. Dvarkin, uh, obviously the Chaya uh, uh, Paskin, like he did before, which was to put it on his right hand, just like in the in the story. Before. So he so he went back to them and says, "Well, I got four different discs." And what should I do? Which one should I follow? The, Reb the Rebbe said that to do just like it, the Yo Yechiel Yechiel Simpson, which was a Zayda, which he was the Maskir of the Fidik Rebbe, and also was a, a close to the family of the Rebbe so, And he should do like a Zayda to put film only on his left hand, just like he did all the uh, years before. The Ramah brings in the Shulchan that in that Bechla uh, Bechla when a, when the later Goyim uh, is Chaylek uh, is uh, makes some Achaykas on the Goyim before, and then and doesn't remind and doesn't bring up the, the Goyim psak that came before him, you should not do like the later Goyim because it, most probably he never saw the uh, the earlier Goyim's uh, writings and then uh, possibly that he would have changed what he have said and that's the uh, same thing as Semach Tzedek and Al Semach Tzedek was a later, and, he, and when he writes, when Semach Tzedek writes a psaac, he, he says, I do not agree with the Mogan Avram, but he, which also held like the Alt Rebbe, but didn't mention the word, uh, word about the Rebbe. So it could be a question, why do why there's some cases where you Bechlal follow the Semach Tzedek? But because that Semach Tzedek was, and it, it doesn't make sense to say that Semach Tzedek did not know what the Alter Rebbe said, because he was his Einikai. He also uh, uh, grew up in his in his in the Alter Rebbe's house, and he and he learned with the Alter Rebbe. So how could it be that he did not hear, hear of what the Alter Rebbe said? So the answer is, it says in Hilchas Kubudalayim in in Shochan Aruch, and Allah is. Design. If someone wants, if a Talmud Chacham wants to be chaylek, make a mechaykes with his father, he should not mention his father that he's being uh, that he's making a mechaykes with him. Just someone else who holds like his father. And like it says in a lot of places that uh, that a grandfather just like a father. So Mishum Kibudav, Semach said, did not want to mention the Alter Rebbe and just mention uh, the Morgan Avram. So we answered that the Samach Tzedek did know, and uh, he only got, uh, and there's a possibility to go like a point to the Samach Tzedek. To finish up, 
there is a tzav from Hate of Shemem that someone asked the Rebbe and he asked that there are a lot of, uh, that he was an Eretz soul. there were a lot of different Piskei Dina from the Rabban of Eretz Yisrael. And there were, but, there were, but in Eretz Yisrael there were a lot of Rabbanim that, that said only one, uh, one Psaq. And all the Rabbanim in Eretz Yisrael would, would do only one Psaq. And, and, and the writer who was asking the Rebbe wrote, uh, I'm asking this because my friend writes with his right hand and does everything with his left. And the uh, Rabbi said to do like the Ajmar uh, Hazake and not like the Tzemach What should I do? Make, uh, uh, because they didn't even mention the Tzemach So the Rebbe answered that the Rabbi know very well what the Tzemach says. And how about the plane? He, they will play Paskin just like that. Uh, and from all the, the, what we said before, is that the Rebbe, first of all, the Rebbe didn't want to answer on the cases. He only sent the people to do to Rabbanim Zikne Yanash. And also it says uh, that the uh, Rabbanim were machloikas uh, uh, between them. Zalman Shimon Barkin and also other Rabbanim Zikne Yanash, that Paskin just like that, the Rebbe to put on his right hand. Shmuel Abitin and Raleigh Yachol Simpson uh, um, asked him to do like uh, on the on left, just like the Tzemat said. And Sefer Nesivim, the Sada Shlichus says that because of this Machlekes, you put on both hands. The Mimim Sayin, because the Iter is a moon, we should be Zeichet to, to the Rolam Yidu Vashlema, which all moon will disappear. And whether the ether, uh, ether is uh, that type of moon of the ether will change, uh, that we don't know. But the close ether, ether yad is a moon, and all moon shall be, he'll take me a mamash with the golem and the shleimah. From the Rebbe This is from the whole class. He designed the Kanaalif. Model for model. Mazel Tov Zevi. Mazel Tov Zevi, Lamdan. Mazel Tov Zevi, Lamdan. What am I even supposed to say? Mazel Tov Zevi. It's all Zion. It's all Zion to gain to the table. Mazel Tov Zevi. It's all Zion to gain to the table. Mazel Tov. Mazel Tov Zevi. It's all Zion to gain to the table. 
Mazel Tov, Zevi, you should give nachas to your parents and grandparents. Mazel Tov. Mazel Tov, Zevi, you should have a long life, be successful, and Mazel Tov. Mazel Tov, Zevi. Who's next? Next in line. Mazel Tov, Zevi. Mazel Tov, Zevi, should be chassid rishma in London. Amen.
go in, in the same way, someone who is blind, who is missing the major part of, of the well of interaction, which is seeing the world, should be also potter to call mitzvahs. So Rabbi Yosef was a big boy, but he was blind. So, so all his life he was saying, if someone is going to prove to me that the Allah is Kerabi Yehuda, meaning they're not obligated to fulfill Torah or Mitzvah, but I, I, I hold that someone who is not obligated and still does Torah Mitzvah at a very high level, I will make a big party. In Gemara Kedushin, as soon as he heard as Rabbi Hanina said, that God al the bigger person is the one who actually is obligated to fulfill Torah or Mitzvah, so now, now Rabbi Yosef said, I want to find someone who doesn't hold Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yehuda. I want to have a law that Soyma is high up in the whole mitzvah, which is, this is how we're asking. And Rabbi, and Rabbi Yosef said, if, if so, I will make a big party to celebrate that, that, that fact. That fact that I'm obligated to fulfill Torah and mitzvahs, and that's why I'm throwing party. And this is really the source why we're celebrating our mitzvah, because this is the day when, when a boy for, for, for 13 years he grows up, and while he's still a child, slowly but surely he starts doing mitzvahs one, one by one. But those mitzvahs don't have the same value when, when, when it comes to when he's 13 years old, he crosses this line. It's not just it makes, he does more mitzvahs. The mitzvahs have now have a bigger value. And this is the reason why we celebrate it today. But the interesting part is what Marshall says, he compares it with Yom Kippur. What's so special between Bar Mitzvah and Hasana? And it's actually connected to this week's Parsha as well. Parsha Chayes Torah, which is talk, talks about the first Hasana, Jewish Hasana. And, uh, and what's special about it, uh, well, generally speaking, usually when we do celebration, we celebrate after the fact. For example, you learn Masakta or Shas or whatever, or you accomplish something, then you make a party, you celebrate. It's a victory, you celebrate. That you celebrate your accomplishments because you have something to show for. In, in Bar Mitzvah, it's not like that. Because still now, he was, he was a cousin, he was a child, so there's nothing really to show. Today is the first day, so why are we celebrating now? We have to wait for 50, 60 years from now. Then we have to make celebration and say, look, how, look, look what I accomplished, look, 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 look what I did. It's not, it's not what we're doing, we're doing it in the beginning, in the beginning, uh, uh, the, 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 the day for one. Same thing we find also in the Hasana. When two people want to get married, we also have to wait 50, 60 years and see how marriage will work out. Is there a chance it will not work out? So let's wait, it's not what we do. We're celebrating on the first day. When people decided to get married, if they get married, we're celebrating now. Why? There are different explanations. One of them is that celebration itself, the simcha itself, it gives power, it gives koyak, it gives energy that there's going to be binyan adiyat, it's going to be a successful marriage. Same thing applies also to the, also to the post of bar mitzvah. The fact we're celebrating now, and even so we can, someone can come and argue, how do we know? Maybe it's not going to work out the way we, we want it to be. But the, but, but the answer is, the, the fact we're celebrating today, it gives koyak to the post of bar mitzvah, that it's gonna work, it's gonna be in the proper way, in the right way, and it's not just gonna give. It, it doesn't. It doesn't just give coin to him. It's actually everybody who participate, physically or virtually, on Zoom or any other way. It helps us as well that, that we're able to, to accomplish the, every everything we need to do, and it's also connects, as I said before, to this week's parsha, parsha Kaisara, and the reason why Torah goes into so detail about marriage. Of two, of two people happened a few thousand years ago. When people got married. It, it is a big deal because this is foundation of all Jewish people. Because all reason of the creation was. This is what I put it with the of Tonyim, and we are all looking on Hashem, and it all started from that first marriage. From uh, uh, this is where Jewish nation started, and today when we're celebrating Bar Mitzvah and Ben Hashem, we'll be able to, uh, to 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 fulfill this final mission. We'll be able to actually see with our physical eyes. The Gula Mitzvah Shlema because of Mamash. Thank you. Now we're going to move on. We're going to, we're going to start singing uh, Nigun, Nigun Achana, and uh, then Sevi, Pastor Bermitz, uh, will say my uh, word uh, for Bermitz. Thank you. I would like to call uh, my brother-in-law, Levi Stolik. Uh, 
to read the Rebbe's letter. Shalom Abracha. The main alayda of Vari Kante Megil Mitzvahs. Inei Ratzim Hashem Yisvarech Hashem Ben Shlai Jesse Le Mitzvahs Tigdal Ben Chamesh Jesse V'Chulim. Kipsak HaMishneh Aviz Perek Hei. Yisif HaSmado Shkida V'Limudi L'Tayra Shkotayres HaNikla Chei L'Tayres HaChasidus Yihade V'Kim HaMitzvahs D'Hashem Yisvarech Yatzlichoi V'Yiz Chasi Yire Shemayim V'Alam D'Mibrach V'Gred Et Hol Mitzvah. Amen.
is mijn maag wel uit. Dus ik ga je wel maar niet knullen. Want dat was ik wat is, maar ik ga je gewoon doen dat je zo mag dat je zo 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 zo
Mazel tov, Zevi. Mazel tov, Wallachs. Label, Mindy, this is a magnificent, magnificent simcha. So refreshing. Mazel tov. Mazel tov, Mindy. Much nachas, much simchas, and happiness from your entire family. Mazel tov. Mazel tov, Mindy. Mazel tov, mazel tov. A lot of nachas, and I'm happy to be here. All right, peer pressure. Mazel tov. Lots of nachas. Mazel tov. Lots of nachas from Zevi and the others. Zevi. Mazel tov, Zevi. Tanya wants to. Say Mazel tov, Zevi. A lot of nachas to your parents, your grandparents, and you, you should give a lot of nachas to the Rebbe. Mazel tov. Mazel tov, Mazel tov, Zevi and uh, Mindy and all the family. Mazel tov. Mazel tov, Mazel tov. Lots of nachas. Mazel tov. Mazel tov. Mazel tov, Zevi. We love you. Mazel tov. Mazel tov, Zevi. You should continue to give your parents a lot of nachas all the time. And uh, be pile and bring Mashiach right now. Mazel tov, Wallachs. We're so excited to share in your simcha. Lots and lots of nachas, always and forever. Mazel tov, Zevi, and all the Wallachs. Much Yiddish echesesh and nachas, always. Mazel tov, Wallach family, only Simchas. Mazel tov from the Saul family, we're so happy to be here. Mazel tov, lots of Yiddish Siddish and Nachas from all your wonderful, wonderful boys. Gesund Tehet and Freyla Tehet. Mazel tov, they should have a lot of Nachas from you. Mazel tov, mazel tov. You should have a lot of. Uh, you should give your parents a lot of nachas and only uh, grow mechayel chayel and do great things. Mazel tov, Zevi. Shalom, mazel tov. You give your parents a lot of nachas. Mazel tov, Zevi. Grow up, rest of the year, shemayim malamdin, and shabbat socha in every goal you have. Mazel tov, mazel tov. On behalf of the Towers, mazel tov, mazel tov. Uh, we remember all our bar mitzvahs. Uh, they said just as good, it's even better. And you know, uh, we are privileged to be here. Mazel tov, mazel tov, Zevi. This is such a beautiful uh, simcha. Should you have uh, all the brachas to be a chassid, a chassid shemayim and lamdin, and shechiz and shliach, and all the good things should grow and grow and grow, be a pride to the mishpacha, and um, give a lot of nachas to your uh, parents and to your uncles, and to, most importantly to the Rebbe, be the proud soul to, to bring Mashiach now. Mazel tov. Mazel Tov Zevi should have a lot of atzlach and everything you do. Megash mis, beruch nis. It should all be besimcha and shiach uh, now. Mazel Tov Zevi, great job in the Mimer. We're all very, very proud of you. You should be successful in whatever you do. Zayim atzliach. Mazel Tov Zevi, the Mimer is gezogt as if azokin verogil. Mashu, Mashu, Epezeir Spitzel, the Rebbe's Bochas, all the Mikuim Verm, 
Und der Rieke, wir sollen sehen, sich mit den Reben, Chia Melech, Mazel Tov. L'chaim, l'chaim, Zevi, Mazel Tov. You should be a Chosid, a Shomayim Lamdan. Always give Nachas to your parents. And most of all, always, always, always be Besimcha. And bring Mashiach now. L'chaim. Mazel tov, mazel tov, shnas atzloche, achosi, dir shamayim velamden, mirza hashem asach nachas, to your parents, to the Rebbe. Mazel tov, mazel tov, Zevi, you are a gewaldike, a gewaldike Talmud in Cheder, and may it continue so, mechayel achosi, mishu be achosi, shamayim velamden, bregim hashem asach keinu vikorim mamish. Mazel tov. Am I singing or talking? Mazel tov, mazel tov. I've seen you, Zevi, grow up. You're a beautiful boy, great family. I wish you to give lots of nachas to the Rebbe, to your parents, and Crown Heights, and and uh, bring Mashiach. Thank you, Zevi. It's great to know you. Singing, you're singing. Mazel tov, mazel tov, Zevi. She grew up to be a chassid in London. Give the Rebbe love nachas and bring Mashiach now. Chia Melech. Mazel tov, mazel tov, Zevi. It's very, very freilich a simcha. It should be simcha for your ganze life. Bezrus Hashem, you should do a avoidim etich simcha. And you should be zeichet to be the soldiers that are makabal pnei the Rebbe Melech HaMashiach now by the Izgalos. And should continue in your gewaldika ways of learning, davening, learning Rambam. Mazel Tov, Oh, my God. 
Dungeon now.